Dr. Russ Harris has a book called The Happiness Trap, and this idea comes from this book, and I've uh, titled this video called Controlling Thoughts. And our thoughts are words that are inside our heads, and we often uh, I like to think of these as stories, that our thoughts are stories, and some of them are true stories, and some of them are false stories. But also, most of our thoughts are neither true nor false. They're just the way that we're interpreting life. They're our opinions, our beliefs, and so forth. And the problem is when they're negative thoughts, we think and react to these thoughts as being truth, that they're reality, that they're important, that they're wise, and we begin to ruminate on them, and we begin to believe them as being truth. And we call this cognitive fusion. And so one little thought is to uh, have the THINK acronym. And you can Google uh, THINK acronym and, and you can come up with, uh, you'll see images of um, THINK, which is, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? So you can think of those five things when you have got a thought that is negative. And especially that one, is it kind? Are you being kind to yourself when you're having that thought? So instead of cognitive fusion, where we're ruminating on our negative thoughts, I've got three ways for us to cognitive defusion. So that is to defuse our thought. So let's take a negative thought and use it as an example. But what I'd encourage you to do is take a negative thought that you actually believe about yourself and do the same thing with that. So I'm going to take um, an I am statement. I am a hopeless husband. And I can easily ruminate on that. But instead of saying I am a hopeless husband, the first um, strategy I'm going to use, instead of saying I am, I'm going to say I'm having the thought that I am a hopeless husband. So instead of saying I am a hopeless husband, I'm going to say I am having the thought that I am a hopeless husband. And you can see that by saying it that way, I step back from my thought and I'm sort of observing my thought rather than believing it. The second thing we can do is sing our thought in a tune, just a simple tune such as Jingle Bells or Happy Birthday. So for example, if I used Happy Birthday, I could sing, I am a hopeless husband, I am a hopeless husband, so forth. Um, and that way, you can see already when I'm singing that, that I don't take that thought so seriously. But you will notice that I'm not dismissing the thought. I'm not saying that the thought's not true. I'm not challenging the thought. I'm not trying to replace the thought. I'm diffusing the report. I'm not even trying to get rid of the thought. So the first thing is to change it to I'm having the thought that. And the second way is to sing it to a tune. And the third way is to name your story. So oh, when you start having those thoughts that you're a hopeless husband, you go, oh, I know what's happening in my mind right now. I'm telling me, myself the story about being a hopeless husband. So have a crack at those three strategies, but use it with a negative thought that you have yourself. Good luck.